Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, very quickly, we will be fixing OBS not capturing your game. So usually uh, people that want to start recording their gameplay through OBS do some very, very simple uh, mistakes that are very, very easy to use, uh, sorry, to fix. So the first thing, of course, to do if you want to start capturing your game is you need to understand that firstly, you need to add the source. As you can see, we have sources um, tab in here. So this will, will basically going to be our hub for which kind of sources you want to actually capture, whether it's a browser or some kind of app or a video game, or you want to capture the entire screen, right, without capturing something specific. So you need to uh, figure out for yourself, what do you want to record? So for example, in this video, I am currently running a game which I will open for you. So guys, this is the game I'm running, it's Lies of P. So this is gonna be the game that I now will add as a uh, recording um, in my OBS to make sure that it, it's recording so that everything is working, that everything is uh, capturing, that the recording is actually being saved onto my disk. All right, guys, so in order to capture your game you have mostly two ways to do that i'm already doing one of them right now so how am i how am i doing it so i'm just capturing my entire screen so you just go to the plus you go to where is it um you go to display capture as you can see you click on this you just name it then press ok for example let's say um game one two three okay after that, guys, you will need to choose the capture method and, of course, select the display to capture. So in my case, it's going to be my uh, 2K monitor. So you choose it and, as you can see, you already have it, right? You, you're already uh, capturing the entire screen, so you don't have to choose any window. You just capture the entirety of the screen. But if, for example, you're um, recording uh, for YouTube and you don't want uh, people to see some private information on your screen. For example, you're tabbing out of the game, uh, you're messaging someone, for example, in, in, on Facebook or something or Instagram, and you don't want people to see that. Capturing your entire screen is unpractical. Okay, so only d use this one if you're sure that w you're just going to be playing the game, not going to be tapping, t uh, tabbing out and not going to be showing any sensitive info because Everything you do on the screen, including outside of the game, will be captured. So uh, keep that in mind. If you do want to, um, I'm going to delete this one. I don't need this one anymore. Re remove this. So if you do want to uh, make sure that you're basically hidden and you're only recording the game, it's very easy. Go to the plus, go to window capture, uh, name it game, for example. You can name it in any way you want. And guys, just choose the game that you're running. So as you can see, in my case, it's going to be Lies of P. Capture method, leave it at automatic. You can also choose to either capture or not capture cursor. It's up to you. After that, press OK. And when you create your uh, basically window capture, which is going to be your game, uh, just make sure to click on this I. Uh, icon because this eye means that you're currently recording if you click on the eye and as you can see it's now crossed off this means that this source is not being recorded and that's very simple guys i'm just going to delete this one again because i don't need it remove it and guys also in the settings i am now i won't be able to show it now how to uh, how to really change it but you need to go to the uh, settings then output and of course choose your encoder settings so, and also make sure to uh, choose the path where you will have your recording saved. In my case, as you can see, this is the path, path G, uh, the action recordings. It's just an old, old name of the folder that I use. I'm using my AMD hardware encoder, H265. This is for AMD. I'm also using the encoder settings, which is the CQP rate control. Very, very nice codec. I recommend it. It's very, very cool. You can actually record lossless recordings with this rate control. Absolutely fantastic. You can also choose the variable bit rate, uh, constant bit rate, high quality constant, high quality variable, anything you desire depending on your hardware and needs. 
And these are basically the settings. Also in audio, make sure to, to um, choose if you're, for example, using a microphone. Make sure to choose your microphone. If you're using your web camera, choose your web camera. Desktop audio so that you're actually capturing the sound in your game. Also choose this one. And you're set and done, guys. Also in the output, if you're using a general, like generic uh, settings for um, a recording, make sure to choose the proper bitrate because as you, as you can see, I don't have the bitrate. So this setting, which is a CQ level, is actually corresponding to the bitrate. It's a little bit different, but it does the same thing. But when you have the bitrate field in here in the OBS, just make sure to go anywhere from 20,000 to, to 40,000. If you want to go higher, you can go 60,000 so that, you know, your video looks good on YouTube. And these are going to be your settings, guys. It's very simple to set up. Just don't forget to add the source so that your actual game is being captured. And that's it, guys. Hopefully this helps you out. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the information. Very essential to know. Happy recording. Happy streaming if you desire, it's almost the same as recording. Enjoy the video, like it, leave a comment if it helped, helped, and I will see you in the next one.